This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install memory into an HP Z620 workstation. Um, so, uh, the first thing you want to do is go to GreenPCGamers.com, click on the blog page, and search Z620. That's going to bring up an article called HP Z620 Gaming Computer and Other Upgrades. Um, this is where we're going to have the, the part numbers to the memory that we're installing into, into this HP workstation. Um, as well as a bunch of other upgrade ideas. Um, and it's an awesome free resource that you should bookmark if you have an HP Z620 workstation. If we don't cover um, the upgrade that you're looking for, um, remember to go to the homepage, um, suggest a topic, or you can contact us directly and uh, ask us about the inquiry. All right, so let's get to the actual install. So we've got our HP Z620. And we are going to add six four gig uh, PC 14900R uh, memory modules. Um, so it's going to get us to 24 gig of RAM. Um, these modules are capable of running up to 1866 megahertz, um, but the speed of the memory is based off of the CPU. So our particular CPU will max the memory out at 1600 megahertz. If you install a, a V2 CPU, then it'll actually run at the 1866 megahertz. All right, so go ahead and remove your side panel. Um, and then you have to remove um, this uh, memory cooling shroud. Well, it's, it's, and so once you remove that, you'll be in good shape to access the memory. All right, so this is the, a look at the side panel. And let's go back a little bit. So this shows us we have eight slots. Now, this is for the single processor. Um, that's what we currently have installed. So we can install up to eight modules, um, and, and like I said, we're going to do six four gig modules. Now, if you have the uh, dual processor setup where you have the optional CPU board, um, it's going to give you four additional memory slots. So you can add quite a bit of memory to this system if you want to. So, um, and here's a little note. It says requires HP approved memory, and that's not actually true. This system will work with. Um, you know, Samsung, Hynix, there's a bunch of different memory it'll work with. So, all right, so let's remove this memory shroud. There's two clips. And we're going to do this with one hand. So uh, we're going to shimmy it left to right until it comes up. And, and then we're, we're able to pretty easily remove that shroud. If you use two hands, it's even easier. All right, so here's our eight slots. Um, we are going to install modules into slots one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, on each side of this processor. So again, here's our 4 gig, 1400 hour memory. Now you can't mix ECC and register memory, so we're gonna put all register memory in. All right, so we're gonna show you how to install on, on the left bank. Basically, put your memory module into the slot. Make sure your notch is lined up in the right spot, that middle notch right there. And then you basically just push in each side and it'll click. Click. Okay, and so we'll do this with the first three modules, and then we'll kind of fast forward for the other bank and then show you what it looks like. So you get the picture, line it up, and click each side. All right, so then we're going to install those, fast forward into the second bank. All right, so now all of our memory is installed. Well, this is what it should look like. Three slots completely filled. Now, if you have eight modules that are matching, you just populate all eight slots. Okay. All right. So now we should have 24 gig of working memory in our system. Uh, you have to put your uh, memory straw back in. Uh, make sure and line up this connector because that's what gives the power to those fans. And there's where it connects to. So just be gentle. Um, it'll click right back into place. And like I said, you want to make sure that connection is good so the fans are working properly to keep that memory cool. All right, so at, at this point, you want to put your side panel back on, and, and we're going to try to boot into setup to, to just verify that our 24 gig of RAM is showing up. Um, so we're in setup. Now, I right, want to pause this for a second. If, if your system, if you don't get video and it doesn't go to setup and you're getting some sort of beeping noise, it means you probably ordered the wrong memory um, or you're mixing EZC memory and registered memory. So definitely go to Green PC Gamers and check out the part numbers and make sure you're using the correct memory 
if you have questions, just ask us or comment below. All right, so our, our memory is working properly. All right, so we can see we have 24 gig of ECC registered a DDR3, 1600 megahertz. Um, and our slots are populated. So our memory is, like we said, is capable of running up to 1866 megahertz. But because of this E52687W CPU, the max speed that it supports is 1600 megahertz. If this was a V2 processor, then we could use uh, or we could actually get uh, 1866 megahertz out of that memory. So it's running as fast as it can based off of what the CPU will support. All right, so everything looks good inside the F2, or sorry, the F10 setup. And so at this point, we just need to boot into our operating system. Now, you need a 64-bit operating system to see uh, more than 4 gig of RAM. Um, so we have Windows 10 Pro 64-bit installed. So right-click on Start and go right into System. And we can see that we are recognizing 24 gig of RAM. So that's awesome. Everything is working perfectly. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, definitely contact us through our website, greenpcgamers.com, or comment below. Thank you so much for watching.